I'm Ethan. And I'm Sebastian. Today we have the Mezco Cyclops with yep. no box. And we now also have a, a sheet, I guess. A backdrop. <laughs> a we're we're a making trademark. our way up in the world. So we're using the vintage Transformers sheet. Um, little Easter eggs you'll see during the video, I guess, if you're a Transformers fan. But anyway, this is a figure. Cyclops has always been one of my favorite X-Men characters. And I love his original 80s look. But for some reason, even though some people aren't the biggest fan of it, his 90s look that he has in the 90s cartoon in this outfit in particular has always been my favorite. And I love it so much. I just love that chest piece that goes like across yeah. like that. And I also like that he always wears a leather jacket during this age too. Um, also, instead of it just being mainly like an all dark blue outfit with like the yellow visor, I like that there's a lot more yellow. Um... But anyway, this is a figure that I've wanted for so long, and I don't really have that many Mezco figures. Neither does Sebastian, really. No. He might have, like, one or two more than me. But it's just, like, with, like, Sideshow and, like, stuff like that, I never really stepped into that realm. I just kind of dabble. Like, I finally yeah. got my, like, one, what's it called, one six scale figure? Yeah, yeah which is Art the Clown, but that's Trick or Treat Studios that we reviewed. Um, but these are some that I have a few of, so let's get into this review and check them out. All right, so you want to go over accessories first? I'll... You can go over it. Okay. So, I I have everything with this. I got it on eBay. The only thing that I'm missing is the box, but it, he literally gave everything, including the fucking bag the accessories came in. So, you get quite a lot of stuff. Um, They actually give you... The, the concept for putting in the different visors is very simple, and it's very easy. You literally just take it out like that, so he's a fucking faceless man, kind of. Um, But they give you, like, three normal visors like this i have an extra one right here and i have one inside of this face right now and then they have the explosions they have a small one and they have the big blast but then they also give you and i i have one off to the side somewhere uh because it actually broke but they give you this which is probably my one of my favorites which is like the cool down as if he just shot it the only problem is is when i got this this piece in particular is super fragile so as you can see it doesn't show up 100%, but I had to hot glue, not one, but both of them, because one came in and was broken, uh, which just happened. The guy packaged it really nicely, but it still broke, and the other one, uh, one of my fucking shelves fell and broke it, unfortunately. Right. Well, let's plug in some of these other explosions. Oh. oh, well, anyway, what I, this will just, yeah, I I'll just show you this then. So, um, the cool thing about this, even though I do need to change the batteries, because I'll show you how it works, just in case you don't know, is his explosions actually light up, but they're not super, like, it's not super powerful, but I kind of like it that way. If I hold it up to the light up here, which I will in a minute for you, it'll basically be the same thing as if I had the batteries in it. The way you do that is you just take off the figures, like, neck joint, like you would with a normal toy, but then take this out, and you have to put these batteries. The only thing is I got to find out where I can get ones like this, and then this right here is the on and off switch. Then you just put the cover back on, just snaps in like that and you put this little thing inside and just twist it so it's like that and then put that on and that's literally all you do and obviously you just turn it on like i just uh showed if you want it to light up but anyway the leather jacket i don't feel like zipping it right now but it is very nice it actually can zip up moves up there and everything it even has a little like like button as you can zipper, see like yeah. zipper yeah but I do like him with this, but I just put it on just for the video so you could see it like this because I like the figure a lot more with Without. it off. And another good thing, because I will show you the different hands in a second, is that the hands pop off very easily. But I find that, that Mezco, pretty much with all their figures, the hands and stuff are very easy because they come with a, a large variety normally. So this right here is basically how he looks without it. And then my personal favorite face. Well, while he's doing that, we can also look at the stand. It's just your me your standard Mezco stand, just with the X Men logo. I think this face gives a lot more uh, <laughs> emotion and expression, especially if you want to put them on a display with like the Dark Phoenix or something. And the thing that I love about these Mezco figures, especially the X Men one, is with with some of these, you'll see that they're a little bit taller than like six inch figures. But for whatever reason, I measured him with my other ones, and he's in perfect scale with Marvel Legends. So 
if you want to like, let's say, you know, they haven't, I don't even think they've made a Jean Grey for these, but if you want to like put him, cause he's obviously better looking than the, with the one that they made yeah. for Marvel Legends on display with some of the other figures, he'd be great. One of the things that I really want to do is with the Marvel Legends Apocalypse that they just made, I really want to do a cool photo shoot with him like that. But this is the face that is kind of meant for when you put these explosions in. So this one is just like a little one and you get the hands i had these ones in but one detail i really wanted to point out is i really like that there's the x even yeah, on the, the hand claws. right there i think that that's a really nice detail and obviously i'm a big fan of how neca i'm sorry not neca mezco does like all the cloth clothing on the figures i think it, it really really is nice it, it even feels like leathery back here um and then this is my personal favorite for the explosions obviously so it kind of weighs down his head a little bit I'll say, how does he stand, like, even using his stand with the big explosion? Oh, he, he can stand. That's the one thing that I do like. Some of the uh, stands with these, when you put them on, their pegs don't really snap in that nicely. But this one, it holds him perfectly. Oh, and I think it's side. better if you see the, yeah, the side view of his face. But it's a really nice figure. And now I'll hold this uh -huh. up to the um, yeah, light for you so you can get an idea of what it would look like if the light were to light up through it that's about what it would look like hold on I'm not trying to put too much light because it isn't the yeah. most powerful but that's a, that's a good accurate representation um so that's the basic parts of that other hand wise you have the open hand that i have right here that i was kind of doing for like him to be like holding out a hand like this you get two fists just like normal you have another i think this one's a little bit different. His hands are gripped a little bit differently, but it's practically this hand again. And then you get one hand that's just like a, I don't know, karate chop hand almost. That's what it looks like. But um, overall, you get tons of accessories. And like I said, this one that broke, they give you another one of these too. So they give you extras that just in case, because I guess they know that that piece is fragile and that also you might lose or break one of these basic visors. So they give you three of those. But overall... They give you tons of stuff. Now, I did not get the box for this, but at the same time, his box, unlike some of the other more beautiful boxes, like the Daredevil one that I have up there, you. yeah, it's it's literally just a box that has like this exact same X on it, so it's nothing that special, and that's why I didn't really mind not getting it. And it was cheaper. With it. It was a lot cheaper. It was like half the price of what it was worth. But overall, I think that this is definitely one of my favorite ones that I own. I do really love the Ash figure, but to me, I think I honestly like this one a little bit more. What about your Michael Myers one you used that to I have? sold? Yeah, I did used to own the Michael Myers Mezco, but that one, I... I don't like Mezco. I don't Myers. like their Myers, and the thing is, is the reason that I knew I didn't like it is uh, there's things that come with it that are cool, like the Tombstone's heavy, which is cool. Like, it came with the ghost the bomb, outfit, but yeah. that's how I know that I didn't like the Michael, because I left the ghost outfit on him the whole time. The other really cool thing is that that the probably the best thing that came with it was the pumpkin from the first movie that actually lights up and flickers like a real pumpkin. That was one of my favorite things, but I had to let that go because it was worth like two fifty, and I mean it, it wasn't it, worth it wasn't worth that to me. But this so, figure anyway, what would we is rate awesome. This figure? To me, I mean. This is like the one thing that kind of weighs problem. it down yeah. because this is fragile, but it does still look great. And I mean, I guess if it does break, you can just do what I did and add a little bit of hot glue. It doesn't really make a difference. To me, even with taking in that factor, just because I love the character and I knew that I was going to love this figure because I've watched reviews on this particular figure a million times, I have to give it at least a 9.5. I think it's it's a, it's a great I'm figure. I'm going to give it an 8.5 great figure and all that, except for, for me, I couldn't justify spending $50 knowing that this piece could easily break. I think it should have been a slightly thicker plastic, but definitely an 8 for me. Mm. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to give us any recommendations because as you guys have seen in some of our other videos, we have a lot of toys. This is just my room that we've mainly shown off since we've come back. But Sebastian has tons of toys in his dungeon, dungeon. <laughs> museum um, as well. So if you tell us, especially if it's like fucking Marvel Legends or, or Black Series oh, especially, yeah. we'll probably have it. Or Expe even older back, like vintage collection. Yeah, or... so if you have any recommendations, drop them down below. I might put out some more polls, too. And we're just going to keep putting out some more videos. See you guys next time.